Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the Greens, Greens family. family. So as you can see, I am in the passenger seat and my wife is in the driver's seat. She's going to be driving today. We're about to hit the road. But there is one problem. She has no idea about driving. So that is why I'm going to teach her how to drive. If you believe a man should teach his wife how to drive, hit that like button and let's get straight to it. All right, Greens family. So we are about to begin. As you can see, I am sitting in the back seat and we are about to begin. It's actually raining outside. But we're going to be okay. We are in an open field and that's a great way to learn to drive in an empty space. You don't have to be passing all those heavy duty trucks and all these things. So, Abs, I hope you are not too nervous. Are you ready to hit the road? I'm not sure. I'm totally <laughs> nervous. <laughs> don't worry yourself. It's going to be alright. All you have to do is just follow the instruction and I'm going to be patient with you and I'm sure you are going to learn in no time. So the first thing you're going to do <laughs> when driving, the first thing you're going to do, um, you're going to put your foot on the brake. The brake is one of the most important thing in the car. If you don't remember your last name, please remember the brake today. So we're about to begin. So you're going to make sure the car is in park, which the car is already in park. Exactly. So you're going to start the car right now. right okay so after the car start the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the car from park and you're going to put the car in drive but while you do that hold on while you do that you're going to keep your foot on the brake remember you're not going to release the brake so when the because for the for it to get into drive it has to go over reverse and if your foot is not on the brake it will reverse by itself so you're going to keep your foot on the brake while you put the car into drive. So slowly put it down into drive. Nice and easy. All right, if you're not sure if it's in drive, you can always look over on the dashboard. So that's the D, that's represent drive. So as you can see, there is a red light here. They are standing. That red light represent the emergency. You, you shouldn't drive while the emergency is still on. So the emergency is on the left side of the brake. The gas is on the right side of the brake. So you're actually driving an automatic. That's a great way to start. You don't have to rush to get into a standard as yet. Take it step by step. So keep your foot on the brake and you're going to release, release the emergency. You're going to use your left foot to release the emergency. So all you, what you do to release the emergency, you press down the emergency and then you release it. So give it a hard, hard. So press on it, then release it now. All right, all right. So that's the first thing. All right. So you're you're now in drive already. You're in drive already. All right. You're make sure you have a firm grip of the steering. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Always try to have a firm grip of the steering. All right. So what you're going to do next? You're going to slowly release the brake and then you're going to apply the gas. If you see the vehicle going to the right side, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> She's so ready, she was born already. <laughs> All right, so if you see the vehicle going to the right and it's going to the right too much, you just turn the steering to the left a little. You don't have to, you don't have to um, just give it a big turn, but you can just slowly turn and watch the process of the vehicle to see how it is going. All right, so when you want to turn the vehicle, you don't have to, holding the vehicle like this, holding the steering like this, you might not get a complete turn. So it's always good to hold on to the top of the steering oh. and then you'll get, you, you'll be able to get a more, a more turn in, in, in the steering. Oh. Understand? All right. Okay. So now we're clear on that. Nice. Exactly. So as you can see, it's raining. So you're going to learn the hard way. You're you're actually learning to, to, to drive in the rain. So you're going to have to get the the, the, the um the windscreen wipers? clean. All right. So the wipers is going to have to turn on. Here's the wipers. This is one. This is the one for the wipers. One on the left. So you just pull it down. Hold on. You pull it too much. So go back up some more. Go back up some more. All right. Pull it down a little. That's first speed. Pull it down one more time. That's second speed. Pull it down one more time. That's third speed. So it, the wiper had have three 
three speed so it depends on how the rain is falling you you know which speed you, to apply if, if it's if, if, if it's drizzling like now you just put it on one if it's really fall if it's falling very hard you know you put it probably two or three all right so you can let it stay that's that's two all right that's not bad yeah two is okay for now all right so you're, you're now going to release the brake. the brake exactly and you're going to apply a little gas okay and remember you have three beautiful children you have three beautiful children and a loving husband so so take time and when i say and when i say hold the brake yeah always remember all right hold on hold on hold on hold on hold the brake hold the brake hold on hold on to the brake i was forgetting one thing so put by the car into park put the car into car into park all right seat belt don't for, don't forget the seat belt yeah seat belt is very important right that is it all right so as you can see the vehicle is going left so you're now going to hold hold the brake again hold the brake again all right put the vehicle down into drive now oh yes yes put the vehicle down into drive all right the vehicle was going left so when you press the gas now you're now going to turn the vehicle to right all right give it a little gas and put the vehicle to right turn the vehicle to right turn the vehicle to right exactly turn it some more slowly but surely you get in there all right turn it some more to right all right that's okay keep it right there all right so what you're basically learning today is how to handle the brake and how to handle the gas all right so slowly but surely you're going up all right as you can see you're going close to the mountain so you just ease off the, the, the gas a little right 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 then you give it give it a little more gas all right you're going to turn to the right now ease up off the gas now ease up off the gas exactly turn it to the right give it a little more gas just a little you don't have to sink it too hard turn it around somewhere turn it to the right turn it to the right all right, ease up off the gas. All right, nice and easy. All right, all right, hold by the brake. Don't hold it too hard. Just slowly hold the brake. You, you, you might go through the windscreen if you hold it too hard. All right, just slowly press back the gas again. Slowly press back the gas. All right, turn it back to the left now. All right, so whenever I say ease off the the, the the gas it doesn't mean you have to completely release the gas but you just kind of ease up ease up the pressure all right too much luck too much luck all right hold by the brake hold by the brake all right 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 remember the brake is is i want you to be very familiar with the brake the brake is one of the most important thing all right so you're going to straighten up a little bit as i'm saying when you're putting in the lock whether you're going right or you're going left don't put too much just apply a little lock and see how the vehicle is turning you, you, you will definitely know if you need to put more or you, or you need to address so put 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 back a little to the right a little to the right just a little to the right yes, oh no turn turn the steering to the right a little to the right turn it somewhere just turn it somewhere all right ease off the brake and give it a little guess just a little guess. Give it some more guess. All right. Turn it to the right. Turn it to the right. To the right. All right. Slow down a little bit now. So hold the brake. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Exactly. So now you're going to turn. And I'm going to teach you how to turn. So, all right. Let's say you want to turn on the right side. The first thing you do when you're turning on the right side you look in the mirror it's raining right now even though we know that no car is behind us because we're on an open field and there is no other vehicle here except that park one over there so you're going to turn to the right but before you turn to the right you're going to look in the mirror if there is any car 
because someone might be coming on a bike and you just swing to the to the next lane so when you're turning when you're switching lane you always look to the mirror if you're going to switch lane to left you look to the left mirror or you look to the right mirror got it all right so turn to the right now you're going to turn to the right put yes put in as much luck as possible because you're going to turn yes all right I right, turn to the go to the right now put a little gas yes put some more gas put some more gas it's okay take your time nice and easy all right I right, take time and hold the brake now take time and hold the brake wonderful all right so if you want the vehicle to go right you're going to lock the steering left so what you're going to do now you're going to hold the brake and you're going to put the vehicle into reverse put the vehicle into reverse hold the brake all right and put the vehicle into reverse all right hold on to the brake keep holding the brake all right you want the vehicle to go right so you're going to lock left so so turn the lock turn the lock left turn the lock left all right wonderful wonderful all right now you're going to ease up off the, the yes the brake and give it a little gas hold on when you're giving it a, giving it a little gas you have to pay attention to the mirror a child might be behind you and you didn't see when they actually you know walk behind you so you look to the left you look to the right make sure the road is clear and then you give a little gas you give a little give a little more gas doing a great job all right hold on hold on hold the brake wonderful all the brake all the brake all right the mirror that is close to you that's the most important mirror so you pay like let's say you look in that mirror for like three seconds and then you look into into this mirror like one second so you cannot just look into one mirror you have to you know look into the right mirror for a little for a little longer than the left mirror but you have to pay attention to both mirror all right so come back a little as well so, so look into the mirror and give a little more gas keep looking into the mirror all right looking slightly look in the left mirror now all right hold the brake now wonderful all right then now you're going to go back forward again so you're going to put back the vehicle into drive again keep while you keep holding on to the brake whenever you're changing whenever you're changing over all right so take the vehicle for, put it back into drive now so neutral then drive all right so you're in drive again all right so we're going to go back up there now so you're going to drive you're going to go and park now so all right so you're going to go back up straight now all right so you're going to press a little gas then you're going to feel where the vehicle is going and then you decide where you want to lock it if you want to go over into the bush you keep locking it left but if you want to come back and keep straight you lock it right exactly so you know exactly how to do it now so give it a little gas give it a little gas give it some more gas all right so you realize the vehicle is going left so you lock it to the right I, and, and you don't have to put all the lock into it you just lock it and see how it is how it is processing all right nice and easy going up back again all right it's going too much to the right so you straighten up wonderful all right and, and, and as you're going closer to the mountain you know that you're going to have to turn around right again all right so go back up some more keep going up just a little more gas yes just keep stay focused all right so lock it to the right now all right just lock it to the right now to the right to the right lock it you're turning around so lock it all the way oh, I'm gonna turn. I thought you said uh, I was yes parking. all right no no you're gonna park when you come back down so lock okay. it all the way around all the way around all right all right give it let it go around now give it some gas so it can go around nice and easy all right so while it's going around you're going to straighten up if you just keep it in one lock you just keep going to be going around and around and around so you're going to straighten up right now straighten up straighten up <laughs> seems like some burden is coming off your abs all right straighten up straighten up okay. yeah remember when you're laughing don't hold on your head always keep your head up no matter how sweet the joke is so put it to the right all right straighten it straighten it try to keep the car straight 
Yeah, try to keep the car straight. Yes, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Remember, it's actually your first day, so you're not going to be doing, you, you know, you're not going to be doing everything perfectly at first. All right, hold on to the brake now. All right, so you're going to turn around now, and then you're going to park. So you're going to so put. I'm going to reverse? No, you're not going to reverse. Oh. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to go right, just like you did the, did the last time. Exactly. So okay. remember when you go right, you put in all the luck. But remember, always look into the mirror. So you look into the mirror, nothing is coming. So turn right. All right. Beautiful. Turn right. All right. Go around to the right now. All right. Slowly. Take your time. Put it around somewhere. More luck. All right. All right. Ease above the gas now. I kind of realize you have heavy feet, but <laughs> all right, hold on right there. Are right, you straighten your lock now? All right, and then you put your vehicle into park now. You keep down on the brake, yeah, keep down that. on the brake. Okay, all right. So then you're going to press back the emergency using your left foot. So press back the emergency. All right. You don't don't release that you actually just release the, the brake, brake before you press the emergency so let me explain what that what that does like for example when you um when you're going to hold the emergency and you release the brake it actually leaves the pressure of the car and and it, it, the, the pressure of the car is not on the on the emergency it's on the car itself on the transmission like the engine mode All right so what so what happened always Hold on onto the brakes. If, so when you're going to park, if it's a, if it's a hill, especially because when it's on a hill, all the pressure of the car is going to be on on the um on the trans the, the transmission mode. So what you're going to do is you hold on hold hold on on the brake and then you put it into park, and then you press. press the brake. No 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 no. I I just said it wrong. So you hold on on on, on the brake. Put it to neutral. Oh. Yes, you put it to neutral and then you press the emergency and then you put it into park when you put the emergency the weight of the car will be on the emergency and not, and not the car itself wonderful so it's actually your first day so i am going to be um at least once a week at least once a week because you know we actually have three children so we have to spend a lot of time with them so at least once a week and you will definitely get better so Green's family, <laughs> it's my time to come from around the back seat. So she actually did well, Green's family, to know that it's actually her first time. And I'm going to give her, let's say, a, around 75%. So what she basically learned today is how to, you know, handle the brake and the gas, knowing the, the amount of pressure to put on the brake and the gas and knowing how to switch from neutral to drive to reverse and to park and these things. So eventually she will definitely get there. And I encourage every man, please teach your wife how to drive and, 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 and be patient with them because they're not going to be able to do, to do it all at first. So you have to, you know, step by step. Even we as a man, we didn't learn everything at once. I've been driving for like about 15 years now and Every day, actually, I still learn something about driving. So we just have to be patient. And there are so many reasons why your wife should actually drive because sometimes you don't know. You, she might want to go to the doctor. She might want to go and get some food. She might want to go and visit her family. She don't. You don't want her to be calling you every second to say, um, honey. yes, honey, please take me there, take me there. You know, she must be able to do these things by herself. So. You as a husband, you have to take it as your responsibility to do these things and to train her. And eventually she will get there. So, you did a great job. Our next driving lesson is going to be when? I'm not sure. Yeah, but you want to drive home? You want to drive home? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. And and remember, when you, when you just start driving, don't be don't be too in a don't be in too much haste to go on the highway. Most ladies, especially, is is afraid of passing the trucks, <laughs> yeah, and going down the <laughs> steep hills and stuff like that. So you know, take it step by step, and eventually, you will definitely do a better job. Next time, turn on the AC. It's getting so hot in here. 
so guys we appreciate you so much we hope you enjoy this video i hope this video will inspire men to start teaching their women how to drive and guess what as soon as you know how to drive i'm going to surprise you with the car all right so greens family until next time we love you love you guys bye <laughs>